Hey guys! Alright, so the Real Housewives of Potomac Season 6 trailer had dropped today and I'm going to watch the trailer and give you my commentary and my reaction. So this is a cast photo. We have a new cast photo and they all look really, really good. I like the purple on all of them. Um, we have Monique, Robin, Candace, Karen, Gabrizel, Ashley, and we have a new housewife who I, I don't know her name, um, but she's on the end with Ashley. Um, as we all know, or if you don't know, Monique had quit the show. Monique had to go on disability because she was having back issues after carrying the show for four years. So unfortunately, Monique is out on disability um, and she will be missed. If you never followed me or saw any of my other reaction videos, I always told you I never really, really cared for Potomac, um, the Potomac Housewives because I really don't like any of them besides Monique and Karen. Monique and Karen were the only two who kept it real on the show. The other women aren't really that relatable. Um, and I actually stopped watching last season um, after the Candace and Monique fight because it just seemed like they were just kept talking about that fight in every single fucking episode. Um, so I never really cared for Potomac or Dallas. Um, and even Salt Lake City. Never, I can't even get into Salt Lake City. All the new housewives I really can't get into. Um, but I do watch like clips and some episodes here and there. And now that Monique left, I, I have no purpose to watch the show anymore. Unless this trailer is going to be really, really good. All right, unless it's going to blow me away. But yeah, I don't care for Robin. I don't care for Candace. I don't care for Gabrizel. I don't care for Ashley. And um, if you wanted uh, Wendy, oh, did I call her Monique earlier? Wendy, I, I didn't really get to like watch all your episodes. So I really not did never really got to know you. So sorry, I don't like you just by default. My bad. Sorry. Whatever. All right, let's watch this trailer and see what these Potomac women are giving us. <laughs> One thing you learn about living in Potomac is a town of smoke and mirrors. <laughs> what is this, like a movie? You never know who you can trust. She looks pretty. Sorry. I know that restaurant. I was just there the other day. I was day. just going to look with the rest of them because it's so much smaller. It's okay. Give it a chance to grow up. You were smaller when I married you. <laughs> Who is that? Good morning, handsome. Let me see. Oh, wait, Let me see. My phone. Now, fine hair. I just can't imagine having, like, sex. Um, yeah. You're still together? Chris is managing me. Seven. Yeah, yeah. Look, bro. Yes. I take care of all your shit all day long. Shut up. Been like unmotivated lately. Robin, you gotta get out the bed. All right, do something. All right. You cannot have your fine husband telling you you unattractive. Ooh. Jamona having a pandemic long distance relationship is not working. Oh, Honey, you got dragged. Then you let him back in, and he dragged you again. <laughs> She's so shady. <laughs> you are tired. You can't give me 100%. Are you happy? Are you fulfilled? No. Oh. So when are we gonna talk about? The Eddie Rivers. What Eddie Rivers? What you're not going to do is uh -oh. you're not going to play with my husband's name. Everyone knows. That's why we went to Sing Sing. What the f Sing Sing? What do you mean the f in moment? Shut the f up. I want Ray to pay his bills. Are you talking to me? <laughs> I see you for everything everybody ever said that you were. I don't Get her. These mother cameras. Uh oh. Uh oh. I will light your ass up. Enough drama. Oh, I'm watching. All right, I'm watching. You, okay, you guys convinced me. All right, I'm watching season six. Oh, oh, they stepped up their game. They said Monique is gone. We need another fighter. We need to be throwing leaves at each other. We need to be saying everyone's husband cheating on them. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm watching this season. All right, I, I swear to God, I'm going to watch this season. Um, 
Whoa, okay, okay, okay. And I, like, so that restaurant is literally down the street from my house. Like, it's five minutes away. I was just there. I'm actually going there Friday. My sister's coming to town. Um, for those who don't know, I actually just moved into the Potomac area. So, yeah, it's kind of mind-blowing that I just been to that restaurant. I actually applied for a job there, too. Ooh, that's another story. Um, <laughs> but it's called Sobeys. Uh, that restaurant's called Sobeys. <sighs> okay. It was a lot to digest. All right, so Gabrielle and her husband, or her ex-husband, so... They were dating last year or last season, um, but he was actually involved with another woman. I told you all that he actually got this woman pregnant. I guess that rumor was false, but the woman had made a TikTok video saying that they did have a relationship. She actually lived in Rochester, New York. So it's kind of funny how, she, you know, Gabrielle was saying that they were together and, and like meanwhile, you know, he was out with another woman dating another woman and probably more, you know, he was a hoe. That's why they split up the first time. He had slept with like almost half the women in their congregation here in Maryland. Um, I, I just would never get back with a cheater. You can't trust cheaters. Okay, once a cheater knew the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, because that's how many times he cheated on her, how could you go back to a cheater? Because you know, he just want to sling his dick around and he's not even that cute in the first place, Gabrielle. I think you're pretty. You just have a nasty soul, but you're cute. You could get someone attractive. I don't know why I keep dating ugly guys. Remember that guy she dated a couple seasons ago? He was like fat and bald and he looked like he could be like her father. Um, you and Portia, dating the ugly guys. I don't know what it is, but yeah, Gabrielle, you just embarrassed yourself. Um, and the new girl, Wendy, I, I never heard any cheating rumors about your husband, but I will let your husband fuck me. He's really, really attractive. Gabrielle, you might be reaching, you know, you might be looking for a storyline, but Wendy is not the one. And you're going to find out in this season, it looks like. Wendy looks like she's about to slap a bitch, all right? Don't come for her and her husband, her fine-ass, sexy-ass husband. I'll fight someone, too, if someone said, if I was married to someone who looked like Eddie, is that his name, Eddie? I think I just made that name up. But if I was married to him and he looked like that, oh, I'm fighting you if you say my husband cheating on me because I'd be damned if I lose that good dick. <laughs> All right, that was just for fun. <laughs> um, Ashley, don't know why you're still on the show. I don't like you or your old old gay husband. Um, he's just too old. I forgot that you're pregnant. I didn't think their your first child was uh, good looking, so I'm I, I'm kind of scared to see what your sec sec second child looks like. That's me to say. I actually got yeah. I, I, people actually dragged me in my last video for saying that your child looked ugly but your child your first child i think you had a boy your first child looked like benjamin buttons like he just had an old man face on a baby and i was like oh like it could be it'll be a good halloween costume like a good halloween mask but your child is not cute at all and i would not be having a second child if my first child came out ugly like yeah, all right never mind that's just too mean I'll cut. all right marcus cut that <laughs> yeah yeah all right marcus cut that i don't want yeah that's just mean but it's the truth. I don't know why we're cutting it. Why am I cutting it? It's the truth. We all say it on Twitter. Um, uh, Candace has said it on the reunion. Your child looks like your husband. He looks old. Duh. Like, who wants to have another baby with an old man? And when your first child came looking like an old man. God. Um, but congratulations. Karen, um, Karen, nobody's talking to Ray besides you. So that's like a fake storyline. No one's texting Ray, hey, good morning, sexy daddy. No one's texting him that besides you. So that's not a storyline I'm interested in. Who else is on the show? Oh, Robin. I, I never really cared for Robin, but I think that your husband also is fine as well. He can fuck me any type of, uh, in any type of position that he wants. That's just me. <laughs> But I'm not really interested in your storyline either. Is he bad mouthing you? Probably. Should you be taking this abuse? No. Should you be on the show? No. So I'm not interested in that storyline. But I um, am interested in the new woman and I am interested in seeing Gabrielle and Wendy um, beef it out. So, ah, oh, and Candace. I forgot about Candace. Um, yeah, there's really nothing much about you either. I like your mom. I think your mom should be on the show. So I am going to be watching season six of Potomac Housewives. All right, so what do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Are you going to be watching the season? Does it look interesting? What do you think? Let me know. So the Real Housewives of Potomac season six premieres July 11th at 9, 8 central on Bravo. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're on my page, check out my other videos and let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. Down below in the description area under more Marcus, I put my Instagram and Twitter information. So go ahead and follow me guys. That way you can send me a DM for any video request that you have. I can't wait to talk to you all again. Bye guys. <laughs>
Push some